Uh, my name is Matt Reeves, and I am one of the co-chairpersons of the Duluth Superior Pride Executive Committee. Mm -hmm. How long have you been involved with uh, the, the Pride, the uh, Pride? Last year was the first Pride that I attended. I got involved with the board probably seven or eight months ago now, um, and I've been co-chair for the last uh, three three months. I was elected about three months ago. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. It is a lot of work. It takes a lot of volunteer hours. We have a very large board of people that put in a ton of time uh, volunteering their time to, to put on this uh, weekend every year and all of our fundraisers throughout the year to help pay for uh, this weekend. What else do you do? Uh, I'm a line cook down at Grandma's in Canal Park. So <laughs> I work. Always, you I know work, about hard work then. Yes, I work over 40 hours a week, every week, all summer long, and probably close to at least 40 all winter. So this is an added responsibility but it's worth the cause and we have a lot of fun doing I mean, it. You, tell me about this reception that we're doing tonight and then what the rest of what the rest of the weekend has to, uh, entailing. Tonight this is pretty much the kickoff for the Pride weekend. This is the mayor's reception down at the depot. Um, we'll have mayors from Duluth Superior and some surrounding Iron Range cities uh, that come and will give short speeches uh, somewhere towards the middle of the event tonight. Uh, runs from 5 until 8 o'clock. Uh, the musical group right now is Kyle Schurz, uh, accompanied by Josie. They play around town, um, and Kyle owns the music studio Musicality and offers lessons uh, to both youth and adult musicians. Uh, so they're, the noise you hear behind me right now, they just fired up. It's 5 o'clock. Uh, the rest of the weekend, tomorrow is the bonfire on Wisconsin Point. That'll run pretty much all night. Uh, Saturday, there's a festival down at Payfront Festival Park from 11 until 8 p.m. Uh, there's a poetry reading, a church service. Um, all the info for the weekend is on our website at dspride.com, uh, the full list. Uh, there's the Foo Foo Choo Choo on Sunday and the Fruit Float on Sunday. The Vista Fleet goes out with about Foo Foo Choo Choo. The uh, North Shore Scenic Railroad, we get a group of about 300 people that take a three-hour tour up the North Shore um, with cash bar, food, and just lots of good times and laughs. Same thing on the fruit float, it's about a three hour boat ride out into the harbor with about 250 people. Uh, we usually fill both to capacity, so get your tickets early. Um, they're on sale at the Flame Duluth, the Flame Superior, and the main club. Um, and also at all of the events this weekend, there are usually tickets involved. There's no cover for the festival. Uh, we've tried to keep it free and have maintained a free festival for the last 25 years or so. You've got some pretty big headliners. Uh, Crystal Waters is coming, uh, Amy and Freddie are coming, Alex Locke, a local aerialist, will be performing both tonight, I hope, and for sure on Saturday, hanging from his fabric at Bayfront Festival Park on Saturday. Uh, so yes, it is some pretty good headliners coming in this year for our, our talent, some nationally recognized people, um, as well as some local talent. Quincy Roysom is doing his Judy Garland routine on Saturday at the festival as well, so it should be a great time. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, I gotta move a little bit here. Sure. Get Albert Wilson here. He's got his uh, pride uh, button on. He does. <laughs> um, I've been down to Pride before, yeah. and uh, it's the uh, atmosphere is. I guess you'd call it a diverse atmosphere. Maybe a little bit alternative. Yep. Um, is this something that you know people should be bringing their kids to, or is it is it a you know, is this more like adult kind of fun? Yeah, we've, or? we've always maintained that it is a family-friendly family friendly atmosphere at the Pride Festival. Uh, there's nothing lewd or lascivious going on. It is a very inclusive, I mean, it used to just be gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender. Now the name has been stretched out to include queer, intersex, and just allies of the rest of our community. So everyone is welcome, and we'd love to have people bring their families, friends, pets, whatever they like down to Bayfront. How do you respond to people that reject, uh, you know, they use words, I mean, I was even going to use the phrase, the, you know, the gay lifestyle. When you hear that, then you know, you're kind of, you know, you're, you know that you're, uh, you're dealing with people that, are, that may have some real serious um, conflict with what's happening or with being, you know, maybe they would say, I, I've heard people say this, you know, go back in the closet or why are, why are people proud about, about this, uh, you know, 
being gay or lesbian, bisexual. With the way that at least legislation and the community has been responding, and I think just the American civilization has been responding in the last few years, it's a lot like what I imagine uh, that African Americans went through through the civil rights movement. It's it's embracing who you are and standing up for yourself and saying, this is who I am. Why is that wrong or why is that difference from who you are at all affecting your life? A live and let live type of a scenario. And we just, a lot of us felt repressed for so long that it finally has come to a head now and we're fighting back for our equal rights as humans. What's that like being, you know, growing up or being a teenager? And do, I mean, I don't, I don't want to project experience on right. you, but I'd like to hear about it. It's very difficult. I played high school hockey and hockey my entire life, and lacrosse in high school and in college. So I've been an athlete my entire life. So being in the closet is very difficult. You deal with a lot of inner demons and struggles, and you don't feel like you really have anyone to talk to. Um, so that the community comes out to events like this and shows the youth community that it is okay to be who you are. And that there are mentors amongst this group. All of these people are friends of the community. That you can talk to anybody about it. I encourage, especially the youth that are struggling with it, to get a hold of our committee. We will set you up with somebody, a big brother type, and and help you through your your experience. Of and that's safe. That's a absolutely safe and anonymous if need be. I mean, you know, I can email, phone call. If you want to go out to lunch, I'm, I mean, we will try and do whatever we can to make any hardships easier because we have all been through it mm -hmm. and dealt with the same difficulties uh, so it's hopefully this weekend will show anybody that is struggling with coming out or their their differences that this is an all-inclusive group and the festival will be family friendly and all-inclusive um, and we encourage everyone to come out and just experience the weekend Sunshine when she's gone